idea. I've done it again. Behind my chair, in my boot, and on my passenger's seat are boxes of plants. When I get home, I'll give you like a little brief glimpse at them, but now I am currently wondering why that person took the corner without indicating. I'm on my way to Lifeline at Castle Hill. I'm after slightly fancier clothes and I find, I don't know why this is, but I find that the Lifeline stores, maybe they don't accept clothing that other stores would be happy to accept. I feel like they try to maintain like a slightly higher level of, what would, what would you call it? Quality? I suppose. I've just, I just noticed when I go into Lifeline that it almost looks like you've gone into like a regular old store and the clothes are organized in color coordination. Everything is really nice. They have a lot of various sizes. They categorize them really well. I need three outfits. I'm going to get changed into the first one, which we'll wear when we drive up there this afternoon. Once we get up there, we're going to drop off our bags and then we're going straight to dinner. A taxi's picking us up. We're doing a really fancy dinner with wine pairings at Zinn House, which is like a fancy restaurant. So I wanna wear a fancy dress. Going to find something to wear all day tomorrow while we're wine tasting. We'll be going to a couple of different wineries tomorrow and I don't know what the weather's like. So when I stop the car, I'm gonna check the weather report because if it's going to be sunny and warm, that'll dictate my clothing choices. And then I need something for Sunday. And on Sunday, we're just waking up, going to one winery, having lunch, and then leaving. But maybe I should also try and get some pajamas too. I mean, it's, it's unnecessary for me to buy, you know, that much stuff. But the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I know when you go away somewhere, not that people really be going on holidays anytime soon. I'm just lucky because I'm in Australia. But uh, when you eventually do go on a holiday, it's always nice to have like holiday clothes and, and you know, you're excited for your holiday and you want to buy something that you can wear on your holiday. And I just want to show you like how easy it is to find your really cute holiday outfits at a thrift store. Anyway, that's enough rambling. This is going to be such a long video. This is like a, a feature length film. Watch Alex buy clothes and go to Mudgee and uh, casually spend 700 bucks at a plant store along the way. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys when I get to Lifeline. Oh dear, the weather in Mudgee today, thunderstorm, the highs of 23, lows of 15. Saturday, rain, highs of 28, lows of 17. Sunday, rain, highs of 20, lows of 11. All right, rain, rain the whole time. So I will have to get rain appropriate clothing, something that uh, is going to keep me warm enough, but also if it does get up to 28 degrees, I don't want to be too hot. So let's head in.
Oh my God, I just got back to the car. It's like 40 degrees in here. <gasps> my plants are all really, really hot. Oh no. This is why you don't leave children and pets or plants in the car in summer in Australia. I'm an idiot. I got more things than I needed for the weekend because there was a couple of very unique items that I thought, ah, oh, I don't need them this weekend, but I can't leave this store without them. And I actually spent exactly $100. I was very happy because what I walked away with, I got so much stuff for $100 and it's all beautiful. Oh my God, I just got home. I don't believe it. Look, delivered at 9 a.m. One taro latte and a vegetarian breakfast. No toast, please. My husband ordered me Uber Eats as a surprise and I wasn't even home. All right, there's so much I need to do now that I'm home. Um, I'm really bad at this whole going away on a holiday thing. Uh, it's been a really long time. We have two hours until we're leaving for Maji. And I think that there's a lot that I still need to do. For example, I really want to dye my hair. Why? Why not? So I ordered an entire box worth of hair dye from YesStyle. I've got pale pink, neon pink, there's a, that's a blue, there's literally blue, yellow, green, pink. I was planning on doing like a rainbow kind of hair. And I also got some more of these Hello Bubble to try out. This one looks like it's kind of an ashy gray color so i don't know if i'm quite brave enough to give that one a try this one's called metallic ash i don't know if i could commit to going gray this one's called pink hazelnut that's interesting oh then of course there's another pack of the rose gold which i tried already and that's the one that we put on sam i know that that one completely washes out but i don't think that i want to go totally red right now Mm, this one makes me nervous because that's a really interesting color and this is showing that if you've got blonde hair it turns it, this almost looks like purple purpley kind of pink and if you've got brown hair it goes like a that see starting on brown hair and it seems to go that color okay i'm gonna give this one a try i'm just not gonna leave it on anywhere near as long as i normally would because i'm just worried it'll develop too far oh my god all the packaging's pink how cute this is adorable I can't begin to tell you how obsessed I am with these foaming hair products. It makes it so much easier. Like when you use a standard hair product, you've got to kind of, you know, section your hair and everything. This, because it foams, it's so simple. Last time I used this product on myself and people saw me just like flat out applying it to my head, they were like, Alex, no. But trust me, it actually shows on the box that you just lather it up in your hands and you just go, doesn't get much easier than this. So while that bakes on my head, I'm going to show you guys what I bought at Lifeline. I think I am actually going to leave this on for 20 minutes because I could see the color developing while I was putting it on and I was like, oh, this isn't going to go brown. This is definitely just going to be like purpley pink, so it's totally fine. The first thing that I got, which I'm planning on wearing in the car, I got this leopard print skirt. I actually got it because the other day, Caitlin made just a remark about leopard print and said she thinks it's the most heinous thing she's ever seen and i did go through my own phase of wanting to wear leopard print all the time i think i was probably between 16 and 18 when i wanted to wear leopard print and i haven't worn it since but when i heard caitlin say she hates it i knew i had to buy it i was looking for a really long time to find a top to wear with this but i couldn't find anything that i really really liked so uh, you guys might remember from Thriftmas, I got this beautiful white blouse. I'm just going to wear that. This skirt is from Dottie and it was $7. I also got this sweater. This is uh, called Brunswick Garments and this was $8. It's really thick, very, very comfortable. I actually bought this because my friend Grace loves things like this. And Grace and I have this kind of like agreement where I wear the clothes for a little while. And then she says, if you're planning on donating it or you know that you're not gonna get much wear out of it, can I have it? And then she'll take it for a while and if I need it back to wear it somewhere, I'll take it. So like Grace and I often swap clothes. And when I saw this, I was like, Grace is gonna love it. So I'm gonna wear it up to my G. Then when I get back and I see Grace on like Wednesday, I'm gonna give her this. I know she's gonna, she's gonna love it so much. Now, I also managed to get pajamas. This is a nighty by Peter Alexander. And Peter Alexander is a beautiful, beautiful pajama company here in Australia. It's like a luxury, 
this would have been 100 bucks and uh, it was 15. Now, the dress that I'm planning on wearing to dinner is this one. This is by a brand called Keepsake. This was $12. It's brand new with its tag. This is made so well. I know 100% this would have been an expensive dress. I'm certain. I, I reckon this was probably like $120, $150 this dress. And I just really love the colors. It's so beautiful. I don't know if it's going to be too underdressed for dinner tonight, but I think it should be just right. It's got a really beautiful skirt on it and pairing it with high heels should just give it that little bit extra dressiness so that it's perfect for like a formal kind of restaurant. I grabbed a pair of shoes to wear with that dress. These were $20, but these are Bellini shoes. I love the brand Bellini. They haven't been worn very much. They're beautiful like suede kind of texture. I love this shaped toe and this chunky heel is gonna be super comfortable. So I'll wear these out to dinner tonight. And if I don't struggle too much at dinner tonight, I'll probably wear them all day on Saturday as well. Now, the dress that I got for Saturday, I got this one, which is the sort of halter neck with a really, really deep neckline. This one was $15, and my only concern with it was because it is such a low neckline, could be a little bit too much, but I'm feeling brave. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this one on Saturday. Then I also grabbed this one, which was just irresistible. The color is stunning. I love the puffy sleeves. This is uh, Alice and Elle, designed in Australia, brand new with tags. New, it says it was $60. I got it for 15. So I'll either wear this on Saturday or Sunday. I'll just see what the weather's like on both days and I'll sort of adjust accordingly. Now, the other things that I bought, I didn't buy these to take them on the trip, but I couldn't resist. This is so cool. It's such a dramatic dress. It's like an off the shoulder dress with a little flower here. And there was actually a red one as well. And it was in the same size. So I think the same person probably donated them, but the red one, I didn't like it anywhere near as much. This is just so dramatic, and I was actually thinking of wearing it to dinner tonight, but uh, I don't think the restaurant is that fancy. So this is really interesting. The brand, it says it's Tussy Australia, and I can tell this is a vintage garment. This is made in Australia. Very, very few things in the last 30 years have been made in Australia. But also, looking at this tag, I've been doing a lot of research into vintage clothing, and something about these, like, sort of printed linen kind of tags and these big chunky tags here made in Australia. Seems like it's definitely a vintage dress and I would like to take it to a seamstress to tailor it because it is a size 12 and I'm a size six and it was kind of falling off me. So once I get this tailored, I don't know where I'll ever wear it, but I'll find some excuse. And last but not least, how could I resist? All that was going through my head while I was wearing this was it was Agatha all along. I'm not gonna keep it in its current state. I'm gonna use the top part like that. I'm going to cut it off here. Then I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna cut it to make panels so that I can turn it into a fitted bodice, kind of like a corset style. It's got this incredible holographic brooch here where the, the raven turns into a crow. It says smiffies.com and uh, it was $12. I thought it may have been a Halloween costume, but I just love the sparkly velvet top. And when I saw the brooch, I, I just, <sighs> if I was going to be a witch of any sort, I would be the sort of witch that could control birds. Look at this. Corn and zucchini fritters, poached eggs, halloumi, hash browns, mushrooms, spinach, oh. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. This has not been on for very long and it's actually starting to kind of like tingle. It's not really burning, but it is kind of tingling. That's weird. The last time I used a Hello Bubble product that didn't happen. Maybe I should go wash it out now. Hmm, I think I, think I will. Let's have a look at the color in the light. Whoa, I have never seen a color like that. <gasps> okay, that's cool. I'm gonna wash it out now. Wish me luck. And I'm done. Okay, I really like how it turned out. It's such a pretty color. It is nothing like it was on the box, being pink hazelnut or whatever it was called. Actually, to be fair, it's nothing like it was on the front of the box, but on that little side, 
piece that I showed you where they had the three different hair colors and what it would turn out like. It's actually basically exactly like that. I'm really happy. I am ready to go. I have my little bag here that you guys might remember. I actually bought this at Lifeline during Thriftmas. I haven't used it yet, so I haven't taken the tag off. So I'm gonna pack all my stuff in here and we're gonna hit the road. Bye, sweet boy. We're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you. Bye. Bye, Archie. We're on the road, we're on our way up to Mudgee. So I know the intro of this video left a lot to be explained. We're on a little family holiday. We're going with Dan's family. And uh, Dan's sister and her husband have been to Mudgee many, many, many times before. They've been five times. Dan and I have been once. And uh, because they've been five times, they've tried all the restaurants and all the wineries. And they told us that we have to go to this restaurant called Zin House. And, oh my God, that's what that is. Lucky's face. Yes, guys. Oh my god, I haven't told you. Dan and I adopted a dog. But kind of. This is Lucky. Lucky's my dog. When I graduated high school, my parents bought him for me as a puppy. He's now 10 years old. I always said to my parents when Dan and I moved out into our apartment, I said, when Dan and I buy a house and we have a garden, we'll bring Lucky with us. And uh, so we lived out of home in apartments, uh, renting and everything. I think we were renting for about four years. I moved out, left him behind. Mum and dad looked after him. When we said to mum, oh, we're ready to take Lucky now. Mum and dad were like, you can't have him. He's been with us for so long and you can't take him because Geordie will get sad. Geordie is my mum's dog and Lockie and Geordie are friends and they were like, no, you can't have him. So we didn't take him, but something really unfortunate happened. So Lockie is a Sheltie, he's a Shetland Sheepdog and Shetland Sheepdogs and Rough Collies, a lot of working dogs, they have this specific gene that makes them really, really highly sensitive to allergies and um, sensitive to uh, environmental factors like various plants and things like that. And Lockie developed an allergy to something in my parents' garden. He lost a bunch of fur on his back from his allergy. And my parents took him to the vet and the vet couldn't quite identify the problem. They were like, is it a thyroid problem or is it an allergy? And they tried really hard and they spent a lot of money. And eventually I said, look, please let me just take him and I'll take him to the vet. I'll take over the vet treatments. I'll take over the expenses because it cost a lot of money, thousands of dollars to get this dog back on track after his allergy. But he is so much better now. When you see him, when we get out of the car, you'll notice he's still got some hairless spots on his back, but he's like, a, we've had him for two months now and he's like a, a new dog. He's put on three kilos. He's uh, been dissexed. He's also just had to have a couple of teeth removed because as an elderly boy, he's had a couple of little rotten teeth in there. And uh, so he had teeth taken out. I, I took him to the vet and I said, whatever you need to do, do it, I'll pay for it, it's fine. So he's on the right track and um, we couldn't go to Mudgee without him. We've got pet friendly accommodation. Anyway, so originally I was going to wear that leopard print skirt that I bought uh, with the white blouse. I changed my mind about the outfits. You know how earlier I said to you that I was going to wear this dress tomorrow to wine tasting and I was going to wear the other dress to dinner? It occurred to me, because this has such a low plunging neckline, I was like, I don't think I'd feel comfortable wearing something like this the whole day going out wine tasting. So I said, no, no I'll just wear it to the fancy restaurant and then tomorrow I'll wear the other dress. So um, anyway, wow, look, look at this scenery. Look, I'll give you guys some panoramic shots of, we're, we're driving through, um, I have literally no idea. But Lithgow? This is Lithgow. <laughs> so we'll, we've still got an hour and a half or so to go, but anyway, this is day one. Hope you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> Thank you. 
reversing towards the Airbnb. There it, there it is behind me, that little window there. We're here, you did so well. Three and a half hours asleep. You're such a good boy. All right, Lucky, let's go. Come on, come, how'd you come? Come on. Look, Lucky, this is your house for three days. Look, it's so cute. Lucky, come. Good boy, yay, good boy. Wow, beautiful. How's it going? I did not make the right decision wearing these shoes. I didn't think we'd be walking through a garden path. Look. Oh wow. Wow. This is so beautiful. I have no idea. Ah, look at the twilight. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, look at these flowers. Mm, it smells so nice too. I'm cursed. I, I can't physically wear something white. I can't wear something. I had, a, I had a napkin on my lap and everything, and I still got a stain on my white dress. We're awake nice and early and uh, we're about to head out for wine tasting and started the morning out in the backyard with a cup of coffee and the nice cozy sweater, which is actually a lot longer than I thought it was. Look, hang on. Can you see? I'm thinking this one today for wine tasting because this is so comfortable. This is like really nice, stretchy, super thick, comfy fabric. And it was supposed to rain according to the weather forecast, but it's actually just blue skies everywhere. And it's like 9.30 in the morning and it's hot. So this is going to be fine. And uh, can I just say about my nighty, I'm so happy I got it. It's gonna be my regular sleeping pajamas now. It's so comfy and also it's nice and long. So I don't feel like inappropriate wearing it out to the kitchen at night or something like that. So anyway, so this one, keepsake the label if anyone's interested i actually you know what i'm gonna google it right now australian designer fashion Oof. every dress seems to be about 250 to 300 dollars for every dress there's nothing less than that okay so i found one that is the same print it's just a slightly different cut and it was 200 dollars. so see i have a good eye for these things i saw it on the rack and i was like i know that's expensive dan Oh, you look lovely. You're like a little ballerina. Like a ballerina. Oh, I'm so happy. Bye, Lucky. Be a good boy. Bye, girls. Look, look at all these dogs. Bye, Lucky Pucky. Stop number one. The Cellar by Gilbert. Gilbert Wineries.
Baby boy, <laughs> Lucky. Hi, baby boy. Hi, hi. Hello, Lucky. Hello, Lucky. been gone for one hour and you missed me oh lucky. hello hi hi yes lucky lucky come good boy i took the dress off and slept for two hours and the dress is back on, and now the heels are going on, and we're going out to dinner. It's like one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. So 
good. It's so good. Oh my god. That was the nicest meal I've ever had. <laughs> ever. So nice. I will never stop raving about that dinner. Out of all the restaurants I've been to in my whole life, I would put that in the top three. And I would recommend it to everyone. Anyone that is physically able to go to Mudgee and eat a meal, you have to go there. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're just going to one winery and then we're going home. And that's, that's everything over. <laughs> Day three, Sunday now, and uh, unfortunately it's raining and it looks very cold outside. So I'm gonna wear the green dress, but I think I'm gonna have to wear the um, gray sweater thing over the top. That's almost the weekend done. I'm so excited for this dress though, it's so cute. Lucky, you get to come to a winery with us today. This is our final winery of the day. This is low and it's uh, dog friendly. So Lucky can actually come and join us for tasting. Probably shouldn't have worn heels with all this mud. <laughs> wow. Doesn't it look lovely? Mm. Hey, that's what we had at the other place. Mm. I actually really liked those pickle oh, cherries. Yeah. They were so good. <laughs> Hello. Good job. Good boy. Oh, God. Wine tasting's all done. Time for the shoes to come off. Oh my god, okay. We're just leaving low now. We're leaving the very last winery. We're heading back to Sydney. This dress was just felt like the tiniest little bit too short the whole time that I was at wine tasting just then. I felt a little bit self-conscious, but hey, in the car here, I have the skirt and the sweater. And while we're driving, I will probably put the sweater on and then wiggle out of the dress and then put the skirt on. Come on. Whoa, we're home now. 